Well, welcome back as we are giving you rolling coverage and setting the scene ahead of tonight's State of the Nation address. Let me link you back to our Cape Town team who is on the ground. Bulelani Philip joins us now. All right, uh, welcome back again. Uh, we are just outside the Cape Town City Hall. Of course, this is where the State of the Nation address will be coming from tonight at 7 o'clock, uh, where the President is expected to give an outline of his plan of action for, well, the remaining term of this uh, parliamentary term. And uh, hopefully, maybe if he comes back, he'll come back and deliver another State of the Nation address. Of course, uh, one of the key expectations that is expected to report back on, as well as outline more programs uh, to fight uh, crime and corruption, is that element of uh, fighting crime and corruption. Of course, now joining me is Justice and Correctional Services Minister. Uh, Minister Ronald Lamola, thank you so much for your time. Firstly, the President has been emphasizing, at least over the past five years, during all the sonas, that uh, one of the key deliverables that he wants to be uh, you know, judged on is the issue of fighting crime and corruption in the spirit of uh, the new dawn. Has he done enough? Yeah, thank you. Um, he has uh, done enough um, in this context of uh, fighting crime and corruption. You will remember that when he took over, uh, the institutions of law enforcement, um, they were at their lowest in terms of not having permanent um, uh, leadership, um, no resource, the budget has been cut. He has reversed all that in terms of the budget cuts. He has uh, supported us um, to, uh, to establish the investigative directorate to deal with complex and, uh, and uh, uh, crime, and a very co uh, complex corruption, commercial crime and all that. So and now we are almost at the final stages of making it uh, permanent. So that is the efforts that the president has put. And, um, we, you will also be aware that it did not only end with the re-establishment of the institutions, but also the budget itself, um, which had to be um, relooked to ensure that they have got the resources to, to do their job. Um, obviously, society does, still does not feel free and safe. Which well, is, on that um, point, uh, in order for justice to work, it must be justice must be seen to be done. Now, one of the issues that we have been tasked with was to make sure that the extradition of the Gupta brothers from the UAE does happen, but up until now it's delayed. Uh, how far is that process at the moment? Yeah, firstly, with regards to the um, ID, they've got uh, more than 100 cases now on the roll with regards to the issues of corruption, including the recommendations um, that are coming out of the, of the Zondo Commission, which also include the matter related to, to the Guptas, there is ongoing uh, diplomatic engagements to ensure that um, the NPA does resubmit um, the indictment and the request for the extradition. But the state of the UAE has not yet responded to the first uh, questions that we have asked them with regards to what were the reasons and so forth, because we may submit again and they raise the same technicalities. So they have not yet responded to those technicalities, but there are ongoing engagements for them to respond to those so that the NPA can now work with the central authority to resubmit the extradition request. But we can assure South Africans that uh, no matter what happens, at the end of the day, the Guptas will come back to South Africa to, to respond and account for, for their issues. We may not know when, but they will definitely come back. Lastly and briefly, Minister, in terms of the government's uh, International Criminal Court of Justice matter, where to from now? Is to proceed with the substantive case which um, um, we are working on now, but also, as you are aware, we are awaiting the report uh, from the State of Israel that we will scrutinize and respond to. And um, obviously, there is a need for the international community to continue to put pressure on the State of Israel to stop the killing which is currently happening in the various platforms of the United Nations and many countries beginning to stop the sale of weapons to Israel and the, a a a a a the EU also supporting the outcomes of the ICJ. So that is a work that is continuous. All right, thank you so much, Minister Ronald Lamola, that is uh, Justice Minister and Correctional Services. Uh, for more reaction, uh, we will be continuing uh, to engage uh, with all the various political parties and role players ahead of this zona tonight. Uh, for now, we cross back to you, Unati, in studio.
Thank you so much, Bulelani Philip there. Of course, as he continues, as he rightfully says, let's continue now to get expectation on what the president will say tonight.